Hey, this is Electric Felix showing you a problem with the Jaguar I-Pace. I've experienced it countless times. I, I really don't know how many times this has happened to me. But let's say, yeah, I've driven more than 10 different I-Paces and more than 5 of them have showed this problem. I'm talking since December last year. It's just September 2019 now so we're talking over the course of uh, almost a year by now every month another car and half of the time this problem uh, came up most of the times it happened after a failed CCS charge but also when people sat in the car during the charge and then we started then suddenly we had a problem there have been many occasions and there's not one rhythm when this problem occurs. Anyway, I'm talking about the black screens. Um, and I'll show you. Here is the infotainment system. The car is running. And uh, I'm not using stealth mode or anything. Um, it's just because then you would always see uh, temperature here and stuff. Um, so the whole system has gone black in the back. There's, uh, in the back there's still something showing anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, who knows why this has happened. Yeah, I, I uh, was trying to charge up in uh, Lannion in Bretagne, in the north of France, and it didn't work. Uh, I tried another charger, also didn't work, didn't bring the screens back, and then I drove over to another province or not another province but at least another company is uh, running these chargers here and they are much better also because they're ABB my probably my favorite charging brand just because they helped me out on so many occasions when other brands didn't especially in France anyway back to the black screens so what I wanted to show you is um, First of all, what you want to try is you want to start the car, you keep it in park or you put it in park, just press the P, yeah, there's a banana, I'm sorry. Then you push this button here for more than 10 seconds, so it starts to flash slowly. Now, if you're lucky, like normally it would call the, no, not it wouldn't call, but anyway. Um, this is also how you initiate the app and stuff. The thing is that now you, if you're lucky, then the screens will boot up. Or you drive away and the screens will boot up. Well, I just tried that. I can tell you, even if I drive away here, uh, these screens will not boot up. So what I will do instead is I'm shutting down the car. Fully charged. Not that it matters for this, uh, for this issue. Anyway, let's try to uh, kick it. Mm -hmm. Well, the kick is always very problematic. So sometimes a side kick works. Well, it all doesn't work. So I'll just do it by hand. Hello, Jaguar. Let's see. There's a lot of stuff here. You can even see what dental arrangement I have anyway uh, look I'm charging up the Xiaomi oh yeah Whew. this is a super hot uh, element not too happy about that but for now it is okay um, what is less okay that is actually blocking my way so let's shut it off for a bit because it's blocking the view so I didn't even open this before so you can see me actually opening it so what you see over there is, is this gray cable what you want to do after you shut down the car is you unplug the cable because wait maybe it's good to show you I hope you can see that the screen is gray it's not black 
but it's gray because it would be more obvious in uh, at, during nighttime. Anyway, the screen is gray because the backlight is on, and when the backlight is on, that's not a good sign. The system, um, you hear this um, sound that's some kind of tick. So we un plug and replug that thing we wait a little bit fairly easy what is less easy is to get this back especially with one hand that totally doesn't work but anyway oh well sort of like a perfect fit I hardly ever had that before the Xiaomi I'm not gonna charge it while driving because it's got so hot. So what I'll show you. Hello. It's also my first first edition by the way, but it doesn't help with the system. So what I hope that you can see, I don't know if it's super obvious, but at least I can see with my eyes now that um, the screen is off. No backlight anymore is what I mean. Um, and what I'll also show you, because you don't need to be scared, is that you start the car and boom, traction battery fault detected. Well, that's just because I pushed the cable out. That message will go away. At least I'm just going to clear it also. And it will also just go away if you start the car a couple more times or you drive a little bit. And that's what I'm going to do, of course. So, I'm pushing this button again, I'm gonna put the car into drive, the screens won't boot up immediately but I hope in the evening or at my next charger that is over here, short way, uh, less than 60 kilometers to go. So I hope that this will help you. When you got the black screens, don't go to your dealer. They will take your car for days, whatever. They will not really, I mean, it will not change your life, I think. What I think will help is uh, putting that cable, putting it back, and then just driving. And so I will. And I will show you when it gets back. It's now Saturday. 1st of September, 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. I'm gonna drive for half an hour. We get to a Volkswagen dealership that apparently has a free charger. Well, I'm always interested. And uh, we'll see what happens in the car. I hope I get my sound back because yeah, it's boring without sound. See you soon. Electric Felix signing out.